What's up, YouTube? It's your boy King Pookie coming to the house for viewing week six. Not again. We lose to the Green Bay Packers. The same damn old, same damn same story. We always lose to the freaking Green Bay Packers, man. Yeah, man. It's like we had the game. It was a close game. And we know what, the, our, our running back, the running game was working. You know, we had that uh, clear Herbert, he was the only running back that we had because of, you know, Damian Wounds went down with the COVID. And with them, we, you know, we lost David Montgomery. So we're probably not going to see him to the bye weekend. And, then, you know, I mean, clear Herbert, he was... Oh my god, off the chain. He was horrific. And then, you know what? Mad Daggy takes him out of the game and takes the get, takes his foot off the gas pedal. I mean, I mean, I mean, seriously, this guy, he, they say that he's not calling the plays and giving us blade ladies. We know it is all bullshit. We know he's making the calls. No, 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 they're not gonna tell us. But you know, we could see it on the, the play, in the plays, and you know, Justin Fields, oh my god, man, he he did an okay job, not like spectacular or anything, um, but yeah, this is what Justin Fields had, he was 16 for 27 carries, he had 174 yards, 6.4 yards per carry, average, one touchdown and a one interception and his QB rating was a seven point two. Um in rushing he was six attempts um forty three yards and an average of seven point two and he had sixteen sixteen and zero yard zero yards touchdowns. And you know, um I mean Donald Moody and A Rob Hey, they had a couple of good passes, but in the old line, man, they always let us down. And especially, you know, this was a horrible, horrible call by the referees. And you know what? I got a problem with you know Roger Goodell. He got to just be so butt hurt and because of what you know of 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 you know with the Raiders, you know with um John Gruden. He, you know, he, he's, and then he gets butt hurt because of, um, what's his name, the 49ers, um, that, no, Colin Kaepernick, that never gives him a chance to come back into them because he's still waiting and he's still ready to be in the game. But you know what? This big Roger Goodell, he is the worst general manager i ever seen. I mean, and you know, this guy is like, he's butter. He hires these referees that are blind. They made so many horrible calls. I mean, the the Packers got away with so many, so many calls. I mean, we saw them. They were offsides, and then then one time they gave him the ball the of uh, the first down, and he didn't even make it to the first down. And it was you know obvious. We saw it on the Jumbotron and the stupid referees that always give Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers always the flag. They always give them the calls, you know. I mean, and they give them the first down. I mean, this is ridiculous. He always gets away with so many things. I mean, you know what? And it seems like you have to be really good. Good, and then you get the you get the calls because you look at Brett, Aaron Rodgers, he gets the flags, and Tom Brady also gets the flags too. You know, this is fucking ridiculous. This Roger Goodell needs to get his act together. You know, he's the worst general manager. I mean, the worst commissioner ever. You know, I hope to God one of these days he's gonna be out of there. But he's the worst. You know, he's just butt hurt because of. Of, of John Gruden's comments that was back in 2011, you know, 
I mean, and now you're gonna punish John Gruden for now. You know, now he lost his job. You know, and then you gonna you don't want to give a chance to Colin Kaepernick because you're uh, are afraid of the president's supporters. You know, because you think that their supporters are gonna support the you know the NFL and not pay the money and they're not gonna go to the, any of the games because you're worried about your home money. You don't give a shit about the players in at all or the, the fans, you know. I mean, man, you know what? This, oh, you know, I mean, Khalil Mack and Robin Quinn and Kex, man, they did, they, you know, this, but, you know, that one sack that Khalil Mack was ridiculous. He didn't even sack Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers saw it coming and he just dropped to the ground and it was obvious. It just reminded me of that play of when Burnt Fire took the easy road because he saw, um, when he saw the guy from the, um, the Giants, I forgot what his name is, but he saw him coming and he took the easy sag. And that was the worst sag, I mean. And you know what? I was pissed. The Bears should be pissed after what Aaron Rodgers said. And he said it out loud and he screamed it. He wanted to know that the fans know that he owns us. That he, all his career, he's fucking owned the Bears, you know. And the Bears better take this, like, they better, you know, take this not very lightly when when they go back to Green Bay. Because I want, you know, I want the Bears to put a target on Aaron Rodgers because, you know, he insulted the fans. This is the fans that pay for your money and you know and you insult our fan base you know you're not gonna let that we're gonna get your ass next time Rogers next time we play you because you know and um I mean I, these these you know Eddie Jackson I don't know what's going on with him he needs to really go back to his old number because he's not the same guy with number four because you know he's just Playing, playing awful, man. Um, since he changes his number, um, the, the guy can't even tackle, man. Can't even. He misses the freaking tackles, and he's like, like the last line of defense, and he lets um Aaron Jones, man, one, you know, by, you know, um. So, man, I know that I know that this Justin Fields is a rookie, and and this guy Color Herbert's is just a rookie, and you guys are depending on him that he's gonna, you know, win every single game. He's just a rookie. He's gonna make, you know, um, some mistakes and everything. You know, it's only one. It's not even a year, and you guys are doubting him. And now, you know, um, some fans say, but they want, they wanted to have, um, Andy Dalton in there. Are you serious? You think he's gonna beat Aaron Rodgers? You think? Or, you know what, now, now I'm here, they should put Nick Foles in, because he's the only one that beats Tom Brady, because we would have played Tom Brady in the next game, but, man, seriously, the Bears organization are, you know, a complete joke, they're a team that is owned by a, a, a Virginia McCaskey that is 90 seven years old that inherited this team from Hallis, you know, George Hallis and her and her family have just ruined this whole organization. Man, it was if it was a with Mike McCaskey, now it's gonna be George, you know. Now now it's time for to change the regime, you know. I mean you got it's time to go let go of Ted Phillips and um and it's time to get a new somebody new because you know it's not working with um with Matt Nagy. It's time for a new change and you know with the Chicago Bears. They have to hire some because this guy Matt Nagy, he does not know how to coach this guy. He does not and you know what? If they you know, these bears or is it is there just a tune about getting a new stadium? And everything, so they make more money, you know, they don't give a damn about the B 
Bears fans, you know, the Bears fans have to deal with the other fan base and especially the the Green Bay Packers fans, and we have to hear it. You know, I mean, I'm so really sick and tired of listening to this team, and every day, and uh, we always have to defend myself, and I always, I do not like going to work, because I know we're going to hear it from Green Bay Packer fans, you know. I mean, it's, you know what? They need to look themselves in the mirror, and you know, because you know, you're, I mean, you guys are a complete joke to Chicago. I mean, you, we're paying you. You're making us look like a fool, you know. And this guy, Justin Fields, man, he sh went to the to the Sky basketball game. You know, he should have been going at home studying the studying Green Bay Packers, Green Bay Packers. But no, he went to the game. You know, I mean, I mean, I Justin Fields. He's got a bright future, you know. And just I know it doesn't look like it right now, but man, he's he's just a rookie, you know. And um, I mean, give it time. Can you let, gotta let it, you know. You got you know you like put them in, in the oven and you let it let it bake in there for a little while. Well, you got you know give time for Justin Fields. You, you gave him so much hope. You put. Everybody wanted hit this guy. You know how much pressure is on him to to uh, make us happy. You know, and I mean, we're like, come on. And so, man, they got to do it because they got two tough games. They got to have to play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and they're gonna play the Ray, the Forty uh, Niners, and I think they'd go on a bye, but um. Yeah, and then then the lose, and after the bye, it's not gonna be even huge because we're gonna be playing Baltimore and Pittsburgh, and those two game teams look like they you know they can't stop them. So man, but they got you know Man Nagy and this coaching staff have to, and and this organization have really do have to do some soul searching because I am sick and tired. Of, we have four thousand hours. Two, we kick off so the next time we play the Green Bay Packers. You know, I'm sick of that. We have not been at the Green Bay Packers since December 16 of 2018. And that was a time for a change. It's been over 24,000 hours since we last time we beat them. This is ridiculous. We need to kick them and the ass in Green Bay. You know, um, I, I'm, so, so, I'm so sorry about, about my... Um, my anger, but I mean, I'm I'm really getting tired of keep losing to this team all the time. You know, um, they you know this the Aaron Rodgers have there with those comments he said that really ticked us off really bad. They he, he owns us, and you know what? It is right. He does own us, but seriously, he embarrassed us in front of everybody. He put it in front of TV. Everybody saw it. Now, everybody in the sports media is probably going to be talking about it. And, you know, we, we you know, and this time has to change. We, we're sick and tired of losing to this guy. Who knows if this guy is going to leave, you know. Who, we don't know what, what, if he's going to decide to come back to Green Bay, you know. And we're all waiting for the Jordan Love clock to start, you know. I'm sick and tired, you know, so, yeah, leave me a comment below, give me a huge thumbs up, and join the King Pookie Nation Army. This is your boy King Pookie, and I'll see you guys in the next video.